Hello Internet. I recently got myself a Raspberry Pi 2 board and was a little disappointed with the selection of OS's that Noobs offered by default. So I went looking through the list of OS's listed below the Noobs download and lo and behold I saw Ubuntu Mate. Unfortunately the installation guide provided by the Ubuntu Mate website really wasn't all that helpful as I only had access to a Windows based PC. After searching the internet I couldn't find a guide to installing Mate on a Pi 2 board. So after a little trial, I was able to get my Pi working. However, I thought I should share this info for those who are new to installing OS's on their Pi board that don't come with noobs. Without further ado, here is my guide to installing Ubuntu Mate on a Raspberry Pi 2. For this project, you are going to need a Raspberry Pi 2 board, obviously, micro SD card, I used a class 4 8GB one and it worked fairly well. If your PC doesn't natively support microSD, then some way for your computer to communicate with the microSD card. I had a micro USB 2.0 USB, USB adapter, but I'm sure a normal microSD to standard SD will work too. And finally, a Windows PC. Now there's some things you're going to need to download, because um, Windows doesn't natively support the file formats we're going to be using. So one of them is 7-zip. It's a great little little like Swiss Army knife of compression, nice little file extraction program. So you just want to go to the website, the link's going to be in the description. And you're going to want to download the EXI for 32-bit or the MSI for 64-bit. In my case, I'm 64-bit, so I'm just going to download the MSI, let it download, and then open it. Go through the installation wizard, accept license agreement, next, next, install, and it's just going to go through the regular installation, and there you go. After that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hop over to a nice little article that How To Geek made. I have that link in the description, and you want to download Windows 32 Disk Imager. Just click on that link. It's going to take you to, to a little download page. And then from there, you're going to download Win32 Disk Imager. And go through the same, go through the same installation process as before. You may have to wait a few seconds before it'll let you download it. Let your browser download it, and then just go through the installation process. And then you're good to go as far as software is concerned. Now, before we continue, remember that formatting anything will delete all the files off of it. So before you do that, make sure you have backed up everything you want off this SD card, as after you do this step, it will be irreversible. Okay, so next we're going to need to do a little prep work on the SD card itself. So first what you want to do is you want to go into My Computer, and then you're going to want to insert your SD card. It should pop up as one of the listed, one of the listed mediums available. Then from there you're going to want to right-click on it and select Format. After that, you want to make sure everything is appropriate as far as capacity and having it set to FAT32 should be the default for most um, smaller SD cards. Make sure it's under quick format because you don't want it taking too long to uh, erase everything. And then you can name it whatever you want by naming it Pi. Then you're going to select OK. Let it do its thing, which should only take a few moments. And then once that's done, you click OK and then close it and then now your SD card is all formatted and ready to go ready to put your operating system so next you want to go to the um, Ubuntu Mate website with, with the um, Raspberry Pi 2 link and then click on the file they have listed there and it's going to download and using the magic of video editing we're going to skip to after it's been downloaded okay there we go we're back so now that the Ubuntu file has been downloaded I'm just going to move it over somewhere more convenient, like onto the desktop or whatever, somewhere you could easily access it. And you're going to right click the file and select 7zip. And a sub menu is going to open up. And what you want to do is just go extract here, or just extract, and it's just going to extract it to your desktop. So I'm going to fast forward this. Oh, 
almost there. Okay, so it looks like the progress bar has reached its end now. I'm just gonna, there we go. It's finished. And now what we're gonna do next is take the image file that we're left with and burn onto the SD card. Almost done. Okay, so now the um, image file has been created, and what we're gonna do now is just open up, open up Win32 Disk Imager. The device is gonna be E because, as we could see, our Pi2. SD card is E, so we're going to be making we're going to make sure that the device we've selected is E. We're going to open up the image file which we have right here on the desktop. Actually, this is the image file with a little disk on it. Disk image file. Oops. Um, the last part of it's called .img. We can open that. Let's see, and we're going to click write write the image file to the device. And yes. And that's it. Now you just plug in your SD card and your Pi 2 board and you're all set. Let me know if you what you thought of this vid in the comments and like and subscribe if you want more. So yeah, that's it. Hope this helps and thanks for watching.